Hey, what's up everybody out there on YouTube? Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Okay, yesterday we brought you the introduction to product specs for the new Kingston KHX1866 HyperX Plug and Play Memory. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install it into a PC laptop. Now I'm also going to install this into a Mac laptop, but for today I'm going to go ahead and test it in my nice trusty Dell Inspiria notebook right here. And let's move along and show ahead how we install this memory into this laptop. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spin the laptop, excuse me, the laptop onto its back in the reverse. You can see right here, there's a panel right here. Most laptops are pretty much essentially the same. I'm going to go ahead and remove the two screws in the back back here. There are two screws that will hold it in. I'm going to go ahead and get those screws and get those out so we can maneuver around in here. The little plastic piece, it just pops off completely. You guys can see that. I'm going to pop it back over here so you guys can see it. Here are the memory and sticks that are installed currently. Make sure that when you're doing this, though, that you ground yourself out to something. It really doesn't matter what you ground out on. As long as you've got something around just metal, lamp, anything, just ground yourself out before you do this. Now, to remove the memory, the first top one, you're just going to go ahead and pop it. There's a little clip right here on the side. I'm going to go ahead and pop these clips. When you pop these clips, the memory removes. Here's one stick removed. And here's the bottom stick as well. I'm going to go ahead and put this up so you guys can see even better. And that pops out the two original sticks of memory. Okay, this is very easy to do. Anybody can do this. A lot of people come to me and go, hey man, how do I change a laptop memory? It's simple. So then we've got the two new sticks that we've got from Kingston. Now, the only thing you really want to do here is there's going to be some pins in here. And you're going to want to make sure these pins align. So I'm going to get this up here once again. And you can see there's a pin alignment right in here for the memory. So once you align the pins up with the memory, you insert the memory gently and then just close it down. So I'm going to go ahead and install the, the bottom one first. I'm going to go ahead and pop that in there. My ha I have big hands actually. So for me, this stuff's actually a little bit more difficult than some people because I actually do have really big hands. And so for me, getting inside of here is a little bit difficult. But there, I've got one stick in. And now I'm going to go ahead and put the second stick in. And there we go. I have both sticks of memory now completely in. Making sure they're nice and locked. That one wasn't completely locked in. Get it back in here. Make sure that's totally locked in place. And there we go. So now I have both new sets of the Kingston memory installed. I'm going to go ahead and flip it around. Put the cover on it. Completely sealing it up. There we go. Nice firm thing. I'm going to flip it around again for you guys. And we'll go ahead and turn it on. And if everything went well, we should be up and going automatically. If not, I did something wrong. But nope, looks like everything's good to go. And we're up and running. So, as you guys can see, this was very easy to change the memory out. Inside the system, it'll now boot up. And I'll go ahead and run a couple of Windows tests and we'll get those scores up for you guys as well. Currently, before I installed the memory with my previous stuff, I was getting a score of 6.9 on the Windows. Maybe it'll go up a little bit more. The main thing with faster memory and faster time as you're doing an upgrade is you're going to be able to access your programs faster and boot up a little quicker. You're not going to see any extremely radical differences unless you're going from like a 2 gigabyte to an 8 gigabyte kit. Then you'll see a lot of performance differences. But if you have 8 gigabytes and you just upgrade to a different set of 8 gigabyte memory like this, it's just going to be much faster. So here we go. We booted up completely into Windows. So this installation was a success. There you go. That's all you need to know on how to install memory into a PC notebook. Thanks for watching here at the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. I'll see you back here soon.